What is going on, everybody? So today I'm going to address the whole sleeping issue that the RG Ally has been having for nearly a year now. And I'm going to explain exactly how I solved it indefinitely. So pretty much with the RG Ally, a lot of people compare it to the Steam Deck. Inevitably, right? The Steam Deck has SteamOS, which is a Linux-based operating system. And that operating system can pretty much let you do anything under all of its layers and connectivity across the board, including have an effective sleep mode that rivals the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series systems. And that is a big deal, especially when it comes to a handheld. I remember playing my PS Vita and having the ability put into sleep mode along with the DS and the Game Boy SP and all of those other handhelds around the early 2000s had this insane ability to go into sleep mode and just resume your game whenever you wanted. And now with the rise of Windows handhelds, that operation of just simply sleeping seems to be an issue because Windows is just not made to be a handheld console or PC. Nowadays, I don't even think Windows is meant to be integrated into laptops because sometimes when I close my Alienware laptop, the thing just wakes back up and goes into overdrive with its fans because I closed it and now I'm covering its fans. So sometimes my Alienware is close to overheating because the sleep function with Windows 11 specifically is just broken. At this point, I'm sure Microsoft isn't even trying anymore with these Windows operating systems. And regarding all of the hate that Windows gets across the board from everyone, I think that it's justified. I think that Windows updates are intrusive and they ruin your experience 100%. There is no one out there that says they like Windows updates. I think Windows updates do fix things, but for the most part, they fix things that they break on their own. And the world over, especially the gaming community, is trying so hard to move to Linux. But we're getting beside the point here. I found a way to actually fix the sleep function on the RG Ally, and it's a way that I figured from Reddit. All you have to do is go to the Start tab, type in power options, or you can type in control panel, go to system and security, and then go to power options. And below power options, after you selected it, you're going to see an option that shows exactly what the power button should do. Now switch those two options that say sleep on the top to hibernate. So that means when you click on the power button, it's not going to try to sleep anymore. So ASUS doesn't need to push their extreme standby and modern standby mode, whatever the hell that does on you but instead you can go straight into hibernation mode which will take a little longer than sleep mode sometimes if you don't pause your game or if you're in a high intensity moment in your game it may take even a minute to go into full hibernation but know this once you go into full hibernation after you've turned it on you will resume regardless of what you're doing in the game back into whatever you were doing which means that hibernation mode even though it is slower will successfully emulate sleep mode on the Steam Deck and consoles alike. And I've been using this hibernation mode for over four months. So I've successfully tested out this workaround and it has provided me with mostly the same results that sleep mode for the Steam Deck does. But you don't have to install SteamOS in order to get these results now. You can just simply go into those settings that I showed you and just put the system into hibernate. Now going through Reddit for the past few months has given me more knowledge in terms of what I can do to successfully emulate sleep mode but hibernation mode does the trick and for the most part it is good enough so if you are having issues with sleep mode and if you haven't found this workaround by now you can switch the power buttons functionality into hibernation instead of sleep which asus and their extreme standby mode and modern standby mode already enable this option most of the time but the thing is, with my first test with the RG Ally, putting it into sleep mode, it turns out, and I think I've already said this, that extreme standby mode and modern standby mode, while being simultaneously enabled, will pretty much put your system into hibernation mode anyway. So you may as well just manually set your RG Ally's power button to place the system into hibernation instead of sleep, because that's going to save you a lot more time and worry. Because sometimes you might have a Bluetooth keyboard or mouse still connected connected to your RG Ally. So if it's in sleep mode in a case and you press one of the keys by mistake, since it is a Windows based handheld, the functionality of a keyboard is to turn on your computer after it's put into sleep mode. So if your RG Ally is in a case, it's going to turn back on with all that heat dissipating 
inside of that case and most likely overheat or damage the screen or any kind of hardware that's inside. So for the sake of saving the ROG Ally, you may want to consider this workaround instead of ASUS's workaround with the extreme and modern standby modes. Because around 60% of the time, their workaround just doesn't work. But this hibernation mode workaround worked 100% of the time for me in the past four months alone. So I highly recommend that you try this workaround for sleep mode. And of course, if you're not completely up to date with all the Windows and ASUS updates, which most people are aren't, including myself, you might see some glitches with hibernation mode like the sound cutting off or certain functions not working like they did or even the Bluetooth list just forgetting some of your controllers. I've had this issue happen with my PlayStation 5 controller where after I woke it up from hibernation mode, which by the way, another bad thing about hibernation mode is that you can't wake it up with a keyboard or controller like you can when it's in sleep mode. You have to actually manually press and hold the power button in order to turn on the ROG Ally from hibernation mode. You can't just press a keyboard key or connect the controller in order to wake it up again. With hibernation specifically, you'd have to manually, which is another downside, and it's why I call this a fix with quotations and not an absolute one. Until Microsoft and ASUS find out some kind of official fix for sleep mode for their handheld PCs, this workaround has to do with most users. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about this ROG Ally sleep fix. And if you've tried it, let me know in the comments below. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you have a good one. Later.